Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are currently at a place called The Picker Nose. It is a flea market slash thrift store kind of place. We're in here to see what kind of treasures we can find. Hopefully we find some stuff. So come on in and join us. It's Santa. Right there. Yeah. Oh, he's not on. Well, maybe he's give, not. Give him a kiss. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hate it so much. Tiny's afraid of robots. He's so awful. Ooh. It looks like a tongue. Yeah. He's not saying anything. No, he's not. It's oh, <laughs> messed up. By the way, show us how pregnant you are. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Eight months. <laughs> what a space gun. Wow, that's old. Oh, here we go. Some video games. We got $49 for six games. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's not a good deal. What do we got? More PS4. For 54? Dude, get out of here. These prices are silly. We got PS3. 49, dude. You gotta learn to price things better, folks. 40% off, though. That helps. They have a Snow White from Doris album. Sound and story here. Oh, that is cool. Like that. Looks like a 90s thing. Oh, yeah, I can see that. They got a lot of Snow White. Snow White there. Yeah. There. The they dwarves right time. there. Back there's the album. They have a little bit of Disney stuff down here, too. Oh, yeah. Not wow. Much. There's more Snow White stuff. Ooh, that's cool. The Little Mermaid watch from the 90s. Oh, they got another one. With a flounder and uh, Sebastian. Sebastian? Was yeah. that the name of the crab? Um, the crab? I can't remember the crab's name. I think I've seen Little Mermaid once. Maybe twice. Yeah. Oh, how cute. Oh, yeah. If, that, if you were... A uh, deer of some kind, that's what you'd look like. <laughs> that would be you, yeah. <laughs> and if you were a little bluebird, you'd be that one. If I was a bluebird, that would be me, says Tiny. <laughs> you know? If I was a snowman, this would be me. <laughs> or a deer. These are like light for tree cover, or light covers. No, is that... be me as a deer. Yeah, that's Tiny. <laughs> Except change the long ears for a long neck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Old comic. Funeral for a friend. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Old school. 75% off Christmas stuff. We got some old Christmas things here. Look at this thing. Wow. Eight bucks. Disney things, Mickey Nutcracker, some albums. That's cool. I like that. Very vintagey. Look at this. It's cool too. set up here. It's like taking a step back in time. Look at this rug. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
we got some old postcards oh, or something. That's this park. Yo. That's cool. That is cool. I wonder where it's from. Another Estes. We've been there. Yeah, no year. Yeah. It's too bad. It's old. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. Adorable. I like that. I do too. I like the one in the 13. middle too. Six. Six. Not terrible. Okay. 13. <laughs> this like one? the Santa one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's something special about this TV console. Okay. Man. If there's a record player inside too, it would literally it'd be perfect. Huh. A whole snowsuit. Wow. Nice snowsuit for $110. Delicious. Mm, I don't think so. Although I am pretty interested in this. Oh my god. Wow. Holy crap. Yo, I could I could rock this. <laughs> It'd be a little short, but I could rock it. Wow. That is something special. Yo, so is this. Alright, Moira Rose. Ooh, I love that actually. That's nice. Yeah. Ugly Christmas sweater. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. Very ugly. Very awesome, too. I love it. What's this? Wait, is that Universal Studios? It is. It is. Oh my gosh, will you hold this up for me, please? Okay, that is $34. That is crazy. Pretty cool. Seth, you're gonna love that. There's only one place you can. You've got to go to Orlando and go to Universal Studios Florida, the number one movie studio and theme park in the world. Universal Studios Florida, the only place on earth where you can ride the movies. That is nuts. It's crazy how extra larges in the 90s were so different than they are today. I know. Like this is probably a medium in today's world. Well, yeah. maybe not. Maybe like a large. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's a, a great nice find. On the back too. Nutmeg Mills. Okay. 75% off. It looks like you got some games here. Anything good left? It doesn't look like it. Star Wars Force Unleashed Sith Edition for 360, 15 bucks. Whatever, 75% off of 15. Yeah. That might actually be worth it. A little banged up. I wasn't a big fan of the first Star Wars Force Unleashed though, so that'll stay there. Get some movies. CDs, NOS, Jay-Z, Blueprint, Mission Impossible Blu-ray, Trilogy, that is not priced. And into it. Got some games here too. What do we got? Xbox 360 games and accessories all for 50 bucks. I guarantee you it's not worth 50 bucks. We got a connect. There's no value there. Got an aftermarket controller, no value there. Power supply, maybe a little bit of stuff there, but yeah, that's worth nothing. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. A few things up here. There's a game with baseball and basketball. No value there, no value there. Five bucks. Looks like movies, maybe a game or two in here. Not much, not much. How do you find a gun? Oh, we had one just like that. It's really cool. Yeah, we had a gun just like that. 
It's even pretty hard to pull back. Solid. Don't get any ideas. Okay. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Set it down. 94. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. 10 bucks. This one's cool too. Like an eggnog glass. Yeah. We had this one. Never really? fails. Three root beers and Woodstock falls sound asleep. We used to make root beer floats in this cup. That's a great root beer float. Yep. And then this one. Oh my gosh. So 90s. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was so much cooler back then. Seriously, it's because they cared about marketing back in the day. Mm -hmm. They don't care about marketing anymore. No. They don't put money into it. That one's six. It's not terrible. What else we got? This random I Love ET. That's the ET font, but it's not officially licensed. They also did this for many different things. Welch's, Welch's Jam. This is Muppets in Space. Crazy. I love cups. We got like, too many cups, but I still love cups. We got way too many. 20 bucks? Really? My son needs future title belts. Oh, this one's amazing. I like that one. ECW. That is so sick. Does this one have 50% off? That's only 10 bucks. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. That's a maybe. How much is it? Well, with the 50% off sale, it's technically $10. So we're gonna stick this way back there. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. That's right. Just in time. I like the mini figs. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, it is. The Slytherin snake. Uh -huh. Obviously, as a 90s kid, you gotta love the Power Ranger stuff. Also, Matthew Broderick as Inspector Gadget was awesome. Loved that movie. We did it. What have they got me on? And then we actually had this guy too, which I've not ever seen him in the wild. We had that guy, he's 40 bucks. That's crazy. Oh, we got the Marvel Legends Sasquatch back there, right there. Wow, look at this. Teeny. Oh, dang, that's cool. 250 bucks, Nintendo Action Box, in a new action set inbox. Got a Wii console. Again, crap games. Got two original Nintendo controls. They don't look, they look frayed out of the wires there, so that's not good. Got a couple things up here. Got some 64 games, Top Gear Overdrive, 15. PS3, which I do not have a PS3. PlayStation 2, I do have. So, Tiny just found these. There's wrapped gifts inside of here. So it's a $10 gift wrapped for a boy, $5 gift for a girl, and $7.50 gift for a boy, so you get like a little mystery thing. Oh. Now all the Betty Boop stuff makes me kind of fearful that they would actually know what to gift. But, but oh, there are Hot Wheels, wheels. true. Oh, there's another one. Ten dollar <laughs> gift for a girl. Oh, and another one. An eight dollar gift for a boy. Oh, and another one. Five dollar. And another one. Okay, that's really cool. So fun. I love that. Well done. Yeah. Okay, we got some. This is a good. This is a good booth. Bible Adventures for Super or regular Nintendo. We actually played that on PC. It's a it's like a platformer, but you play as like Noah and David going against Goliath. Do you ever worry that they're playing too much Nintendo? Oh, not anymore. See, Matt has Bible adventures. They're actually learning Bible stories while they're playing Nintendo. Quick, get that Bible quote before you run out of power. Bible Adventures features three games in one cartridge. Noah's Ark, Save Baby Moses, and David and Goliath. A must for every family with Nintendo. Call 1-877-BIBLE. That's 1-877-BIBLE. Resident Evil 2 is a pretty good game. It's 55. They know what they have. Diddy Kong is 30. Again, that's pretty pretty typical. Um, what else we got in here? They have a complete box, Super Mario 3, for 125. That's pretty pretty accurate. Bunch of PS3 stuff, and then just classic regular Nintendo. And they got some uh, Ninja Turtle stuff back there. They got Popeye, Little Mermaid. Yeah, they got a pretty decent selection in there. Plus, you get 20% off, too. 
We got action figs, got a couple wrestlers in there. Old school Batman down there, that's cool. Hercules. Hmm. Well, we might revisit this one, we'll see. I remember this being on the shelves. Good old Shaq attack. Man, Shaq was so big back in the 90s. He was such a hot commodity. Where was it sold? I think, I remember this at Kmart. Yeah, I can see that. But I mean, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. Wherever action figures are sold, KB toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these were originally 10 bucks, clearance on a 2.89. I wish that's what it was. I mean, it's only six, it's not bad. There, there's not much value there, but. Got a couple movies, VHSs. Arthur's Christmas. Arthur was so cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I think. Okay, apparently that's who owned it. That's cool. Got some more games here, but it's for Sega CD or Sega Saturn, which I do not have, nor will I have. It's just not a console that I'm interested in. 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. They, they know what they have. Let's see Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park on Sega is so, so terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, he is in rough shape, but we finally found the JT doll. You never see JT, because everyone wanted Justin Timberlake. He's in rough shape for 15. I don't know if there's a sale going on in this one, but it doesn't look like it. Sorry, JT, you're staying here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite booths here at the Picker Nose. He has tons of just little knickknacks, usually really good prices too. And usually it's just overflowing and exploding with things. It looks like he's really organized it. This is cool. Oh, this is such a nice display. Old school Hot Wheels and Matchboxes. Yeah, it's a lot less uh, overwhelming in here. Yeah, he has a place for everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything was like on top of each other. Before. Uh huh. I felt like there's a lot more digging and treasure hunting to do in here, but not yeah. as of right now. I agree. Mostly Hot Wheels. You used to have a lot of Happy Meals and things like that in here. Wow, look at this. Dang. So cool. so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. If this isn't late 80s, early 90s, what brand would it Or it's not even branded. It's homemade. Look at this thing. I'm overwhelmed by buttons. Mercy. Talk about texture. Oh no, I'd probably rock it. <laughs> A cute little outfit right there. Would it? Are you sure? I knew it would. Oh. Okay. <laughs> A lot of vintage Christmas stuff in this one. Albums, books, decorations. A full color song book. Wow. Dang, look at those illustrations. This book is so fun and huge. Dang, that's really cool. So cool. Yeah, that's amazing and beautiful. Mm-hmm. From 88. Wow, yeah. it seemed older to me. Yeah. I, it's really I, cool. For some reason, I thought like 50s. Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking not, too. Definitely not that old. <laughs> this looks super familiar, and I may have had this growing up. One-on-one -on -one holiday jokes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who says, oh, oh, oh. A backward Santa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did Santa put a clock in his sleigh? I don't know. He wanted to see time fly. Oh my gosh. These are, so, memorize these for when we have our child. <laughs> Why did the silly boy take the Christmas tree to a barber? 
I don't know. Because his mother said it needed to be trimmed. Nobody wow. said they were good. Holy cow. On that note, here's some 90s nostalgia. Kelly. This was uh, Barbie's little sister, right? I Kelly? Yeah. Okay. Leanna, little friend of Kelly, and Kelly, sister of Barbie. There it is. Wow. And this is a Toys R Us exclusive. That is cool. 50 bucks. This doll case is so cool. Oh, hold up. Look at it. It still has the wrapping paper attached to the back oh of this. Oh my gosh. Is this, this thing never opened? It never opened, I bet. Dude, that, having that on there is crazy. What you got? From 1963, a Barbie doll case. Dang. Wow. That's so cool. That is. It'd be so fun. Oh yeah. Wow, look at this too. Twinkle Lights Barbie doll. 60 wow. bucks. This would be from the 90s, I'm guessing. 93, yep. 1993. Wow. She's pretty. She in there? Yep. Oh, wow. How oh, beautiful. And then we can show you this. This Barbie townhouse for $450. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it's this, I don't think this has ever been opened. It's still completely sealed. How is that possible? How do you buy this? I mean, unless you were a collector back in the day. But yeah, it's never been opened. This stuff is probably still in plastic. Yeah, never been opened. That's nuts. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just look at this thing, it has an elevator in it. Oh my gosh. Over three feet tall. Elegant entry hall, modern kitchen, lovely dining room, entertainment center, luxurious bathroom, pic picture pretty bedroom. Wow. Working elevator stops at all three floors and a beautiful home in the city for Barbie. We just found more Barbie stuff. We got the Barbie Porsche for 180 bucks. What else we got? We got up there as I kick things around. A buggy. Barbie bedroom. Bedroom. This, these have been opened. So much to do bedroom. Letters from Ken. Sweet kitty too. <laughs> 50 bucks. Wow. Oh, it looks like laundry. Yeah, real, real working. A little tiny trying to grab it. She did it. I did it. Real working features. Oh my goodness. That's this is 80, cool. I bet. They had a, a date and then they crossed it off, so I'm not really sure. Wow. Late 80s, maybe. That's what I'm guessing, yeah. That's cool. 89, I would say. Yeah, maybe. Let's see down here. I don't, yeah, I don't see. I don't see it either. It's cool though. Wow. And then Barbie's Beach Bus, that's old, older. And then, oh my gosh, Barbie going camping. Ooh, that this, that's, that's old school too, 140 bucks. It's literally a pop-up tent trailer. That's what it looks like when it's all put together. Oh my god! You got a dune buggy with a pole behind trailer. Dude, that is so sick. That's awesome. With camping utensils and everything. Sleeping bag. See, this is probably why I played with Barbies when I was a kid, because they are legit and they're fire. <laughs> Look at this guy. I think he was, I think this guy was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Do you remember him at all? He was a serial character. I think Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't think so. Not really. Gosh. He's somewhat familiar. I'm sure my brother will remember. But if you know, if this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, let me know in the comments. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. A bunch of Beanie Babies, as we all remember the Beanie, ba Beanie Baby craze. People were collecting these things left and right. I think they're going to be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Some are, but very rare. All the old toys. I remember this. I played with this when I was a kid. Yeah. This is... Ah. He's hard compared to everybody else. There he is. Really? What about Goofster? Oh, I guess they're, I guess they're about the same. Oh. So you have to twist it so many times oh. to get it to open. Oh, yeah. yeah. This was like that too, and I was like, I don't think it's working. Yeah. But you just twist it a little just, further. Just keep going. Yep. Oh, we got a John Senya. John Senya. Basic John Senya. Yes, I know his name is Cena. I'm not an idiot. Superman, Power Rangers, Transformers. Oh, this goofy. Oh my goodness. It's like the one at Trash and Treasures, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, just oh. like him. Check the price tag. What was the price on the one at Fashion Treasures? Not 17. It was cheaper than that? Yeah. I feel like it was maybe 15. Yeah, maybe 15. Yeah, so cool. Goofy's my favorite Disney character. Yeah, the outfit on her. What are, what are we doing? I think it's really cute, but not for a baby. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not, clarifying not that. For a baby. Yes, exactly. But it's cute. Yeah, <laughs> pop star kind of stuff. Yeah. Pound puppies. I was a big, big pound puppy person. I probably had one, but I still liked it. I, I guess, never got into those. Yeah, it was it was purchased for me, so <laughs> therefore, oh baby bugs. I just thought baby bugs was so cute. Oh, so cute. His little diaper. Classic. Go grocery shopping for the week. Oh yes, I love those little mini things. They're so fun. So cool. Barbasol, cupcakes. cupcakes. Yeah, that's so deodorant. Cool. Axe deodorant. So cool. This is a really cool classic Coke thing. That looks like something we'd have in our house. Yeah, the old Coke logo is probably '94. Does not say. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, this is cool. 9.50? No, I don't think so. I don't like drinking coffee out of plastic. No. Taz is really cool too. Classic 90s stuff right here, kids. All right, so we just wrapped up at the Picker Nose. I had this gut feeling that I needed to come to this store and usually when those gut feelings happen is when I find treasures and today was a fantastic day. So first things first, we bought our future son his very first World Heavyweight Championship. This is the ECW World Heavyweight Championship, World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, hardcore wrestling, classic 90s stuff. This was this was probably from, yeah, 2007. So this isn't old itself, but that's still nostalgic. So that's awesome, got that. Uh, we grabbed the uh, Dukes of Hazard Return of the General Lee for PlayStation 2. This was only $2. So that's awesome. This disc alone on its own is worth 12. And then last second, I didn't even show this on the video, but last second, I just saw this guy. I'm a huge Sting fan. Actually, before we came today, I pre-ordered a special edition Sting t-shirt. And you know I collect the figs, so he's going in my Sting collection. Um, he was marked at 10, I got him for eight, I believe. So Wolfpack Sting in the house right there. And then last but not least, I've been wanting Diddy Kong Racing for Nintendo 64 for a significant amount of time. This game took the world by storm when it came out. It was very different than Mario Kart and had a story mode and battles and things like that. I uh, got it for 20% off, so I paid 24 bucks. This on its own is usually about 29 to $30, so got it just under retail price. Um, so pretty excited to have that. So all in all, a great, great day here at the Picker Nose and excited to continue building onto my collections as we move into 2023. Now, we get to go and add a few more snack items to the list for our New Year's Eve party. So let's continue. Whee!